it's just important to stay in your own lane and I definitely swerved down my other lane and I kind of like lowered myself to other people's frequency when I was vibrating on a frequency like this just because I heard other people are kind of not vibrating on the same frequency doesn't mean that I should have lowered myself head high check the button catch that frame cause you is my name what up beauty gang, Happy and Beauty here and today I wanted to bring you guys a chit chat. Get ready with me because I really couldn't remember the last time I just sat down and talked to my beauty gang about everything that's going on. There is a lot happening, not only in the world but just in my life in general. So I wanted to go ahead and update y'all on some things and answer some questions. I decided to go on my Instagram story a little bit earlier today and gave people the opportunity to ask me any questions they wanted to ask because I was filming this video. So I'm going to go ahead and touch on those things today but before I hop into this video, if you are new to beauty gang and you ain't never heard of a Sis. We don't know where you've been at, but we are so glad that you found us because the beauty gang is hella stupid lit over here. If you don't believe me, go and check the comment section below and you'll see multiple beauty gang members vouching for the fact that we are hella stupid lit. So after doing that, go ahead and that subscribe button and the bell button so you're notified each time I post a new video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and chit chat, ladies. All right, so some updates. The biggest one, I would say, that has happened lately. On Sunday, your girl revealed that I am officially a Savage X Fenty ambassador. I posted it on my Instagram. Instagram. That was my first official post. Oh Lord, this is gonna be hard. Shoot, because the bras are very important to me. Let me go ahead and knock these out real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so as I was stating, I wanted to actually post an even more poppin' picture. Like I wanted my reveal for it to be like huge. But then Corona, you know, Miss Corona wanted to come through and mess up everything. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to do what I planned, but I can tell y'all what I planned. I might as well. I was gonna do a whole photo shoot. I had already talked to the photographer. I had already found the makeup artist I had looked up Airbnb locations then Miss Corona hit like two weeks before I was supposed to have this shoot I still feel like my boot thing did a pretty good job on my picture we did the best we could with what we had like I did my photo shoot at Josh's place the Virgo on me at first was a little bit disappointed because I obviously wanted it to be perfect like this was a big deal and as a matter of fact it wasn't just a big deal because of the brand it's also my biggest brand deal ever like in terms of how much I'm getting paid and it's honestly just such like a surreal real feeling like because it's like really like you have worked your ass off to the point where you are modeling and advertising for a celebrity's brand aka Rihanna if you did not know and by the way also now that my beauty gang on YouTube knows I do have a direct link in the description box below that you can click go ahead and order you some Savage X Fenty because Lord knows this is a great time to do it you're already chilling at home you might as well chill and be sexy you know but yeah anyway like I said it's the biggest brand deal that I've ever gotten and y'all know I've worked with a decent amount of brands especially Especially natural hair brands so it's like so dope to finally feel like a brand is willing to pay my worth like it's just amazing definitely be sure to click that link in the description box below and I hope you're following me on Instagram because I have looks okay looks coming you guys way and that was something too that was interesting about this because obviously Savage X Fenty is a lingerie line I've never have been the type of influencer that's like all that revealing so when I first got the opportunity obviously I was really excited about it but I did have to kind of sit back and think a little little bit like do I want my brand to go in this direction if so how am I gonna go in that direction in a tasteful way that was what was so important for me and my vision on how I wanted to handle this partnership with them because I didn't want to compromise my morals and stuff like that as a lot of you guys know I'm really big on like 90s vintage energy that's definitely like what I want to come across in my content for Savage X Fenty I don't want it to be sexy slash nasty I want it to be sexy and classy I feel like my first picture kind of set the tone though for what I'm going for and you know what else is crazy other than the fact that this is really hard to do while talking when I was posting the picture is that there were so many comments about my stretch mark or DMs like so many people spoke on it and it wasn't in a negative way at all I didn't realize how much stretch marks and stuff like that really like affect or bother women and so many people were thanking me for like not photoshopping it out thanking me for appreciating them like they were like go ahead girl show off your tiger stripes all that for someone like me it's never really been like an insecurity or anything like that for me so when I posted the picture I didn't at all have a hesitation or inkling like oh my gosh what about these stretch marks if anything it was more so my stomach I was concerned with so the fact that people were like inspired by that alone and it was unintentional made me feel so good just them seeing me embrace my natural body and being like proud of it and rocking it naturally like that's literally all 
always been my goal as an influencer to kind of like influence and inspire in that way and the fact that it happened so naturally without me even really realizing it it was just such a dope feeling and I got so much love and support on that content y'all really came through y'all have no idea how much that means to me like I am still shook like right now like how many days three days later of how much love I got on that content and how many like I had almost 900 comments of people just saying how proud they are of me how I deserve it beauty gang is lit like you guys have no idea how much your support means to me like y'all be riding and this is the first time I feel like I really had like sponsored content not that I care about I care about all my sponsored content but that was something that was kind of outside the norm for me I typically I'm known for like natural hair so I usually get a lot of natural hair sponsorships so the fact that you guys came through for your girl on something that had nothing to do with my hair although my hair looked real bomb in the picture I just appreciate it not a lot of influencers have people that really like ride for them and support them in anything and everything that they do and the fact that my beauty game does I just feel so fortunate and so grateful for you guys trust and believe this is literally only the beginning for us y'all like I have so much other stuff up my sleeve but present day thank you guys so 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 much for riding for me and supporting me especially my OGs that have been with me since I dang near started this journey four years ago y'all are so appreciated and I never got to like formally say thank you also for 700k I hit that like a couple weeks ago now we're just moving on up like beauty gang is so lit and the fact that I say this every video and the fact that like it's not a lie you know how sometimes people be flexing like I'm this I'm that or blah, blah, blah. like when I say beauty gang is lit they're real life be people vouching for the fact of how stupid freaking lit we are so y'all just have no idea how much I means but yeah that was the biggest thing but well, one of the bigger things that has happened thus far what else is going on but shortly after that I did post my Pantene content I did collab with Pantene again which is another really big name brand that I actually thankfully love their products well I would never promote anything that I don't love I don't know why people do that in the first place but I love that they keep coming back around because the money is real cute and the products are super dope so you know it's a win-win situation now it's not a win-win situation is me talking to you guys while I'm trying to do this wing liner little thing that I decided to start doing for my everyday makeup look so I will be right back after I do this y'all that just took an uncomfortably long amount of time I dang near wanted to scrap this doggone video I have been working on my new everyday makeup look which is this like kind of like cat eye thing going on hopefully y'all can see that sometimes I really got it and other times it takes a longer time and today was one of them days <sighs> But anyway, I finally got it, so I'm back. What were we talking about? Savage X Fenty. I think I kind of finished the topic of that, but I do want to circle back real quick and just say, if you are someone who struggles with stretch marks, scars, whatever on your body, you are not alone at all, and it makes me so happy to know that you guys find me relatable in that sense, because I got all types of scars on my body. Your girl's been an athlete pretty much all her life until I graduated college, so I definitely got some bruises, but I just call those like my warrior marks, and I just rock them proudly. It doesn't make me feel any less confident about myself nor should it for you it's literally a part of being a woman tiger stripes stretch marks bruises like it just shows you're human and nothing at all is wrong with that so I just want that to be abundantly clear and if it is not clear yet for you or you're still working on that I would do everything in my power to make that as abundantly clear for you as possible via my Fenty Savage content hashtag wait on it but all right I guess it's time for foundation I want to try something new there's this rose facial oil I think I'm supposed to drop that on before the foundation or am I supposed to use this primer I think I always hear people talking about primer before. Apply to face and blend with fingertips, wear alone or under makeup. Okay, so I guess I am supposed to use this. This is my first time ever using primer, so wish me luck. Ooh, how much of this am I supposed to put on, by the way? Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. During this quarantine season, I don't feel like it's all negative because personally, I've been able to get back on track with my influencer career. I have honestly been working my behind off for those of you guys who don't no, I'm not just my own individual influencer anymore. Me and Josh have a platform together as well. So sometimes it can get really hard juggling both accounts. And what's made it a lot like easier is actually this quarantine because Josh doesn't have to go to work. So therefore, me having to edit like my video and our videos and get them both posted, and that's minus whatever Instagram content needs to go up, it's been way easier. I think I'm actually gonna try this soothing face oil. Just drop a little bit on it because I could have sworn some of the makeup tutorials I'll see sometimes on Instagram, they'll drop something on their face. Or is it this? Is this primer as well? Illuminating face oil. Maybe I should do this one. Oh Lord, I don't know what I'm doing. 
you guys have not noticed yet, I do post on my channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. At least I really, really try to. When I first started out on my channel, y'all, it's not even funny how like dedicated I was and consistent in terms of posting. It's crazy because I thought back on it like a couple months ago when that changed. Specifically last summer, I feel like is what comes to mind. I would go like a week or two without posting. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that was kind of what I needed, especially around that time. When I started traveling and stuff, I just needed to still be able to feel like I'm a regular person or whatever. However, I do feel like I got in that mentality after this one brand trip in particular that comes to mind. I remember when me and some other influencers were talking about upload schedules and everybody was kind of like, they upload like once a week. And that was around the time I was uploading like three times a week. When people heard me say like three times a week, people were like taken back like shook. They like subconsciously in my mind that made me feel like, oh, maybe I'm working too hard. Like maybe I shouldn't be uploading that much. Basically what I'm getting at is the fact that I didn't stay in my own lane. I didn't fall off my channel. Beauty Gang has still grown even throughout these different transition periods that I go through, but I don't feel like I should have let the fact that other people only upload like once a week affect how I was handling things on my channel because one, we have all different channels and at the end of the day, it's just important to stay in your own lane and I definitely swerved out my other lane and I kind of like lowered myself to other people's frequency. When I was vibrating on a frequency like this, just because I heard other people are kind of not vibrating at the same frequency doesn't mean that I should have lowered myself. It's not to shade anyone else. It's just a matter of I was in my own lane. I was uploading three times a week. That's what I wanted to do. And when I heard other people weren't, I was like, okay, maybe I'm working too hard. But we all have our own individual goals and like different things in life that we want. And that's what I feel like I needed to keep in mind. I'm glad that I remembered who I was. And that is why I am back and I am uploading three times a week. YouTube is still very much so my hobby, not just my job. Like I started it as a hobby for years ago and I still feel that same way about it so I'm glad I had that self talk with myself I needed to get it together because my lane was designed specifically for me just like your lane is designed for you so it's just so important to always remember your individuality and just remember who the freak you are I still don't really know how to bake y'all so don't laugh at me if I'm doing this wrong so I did say in my recent natural hair video of protective styles don't really protect nothing. A lot of people didn't like that title. <laughs> I mentioned that I was going to go back to my wig season or maybe that was in another video. I don't know. All I know is wig season is definitely coming back. After I finished these last couple sponsored contents for natural hair, the wig season is back in full effect. I miss my wigs. I honestly just need a break. You guys can I'm sure tell by a lot of my video titles as of recently about my natural hair that I'm kind of just sick of it. And after my trip and realizing that I had to trim a lot of hair off that kind of just made me realize like all right I really do need a break because usually I have a decent amount of growth every year and this year in particular at least in the beginning of it it certainly is not there if anything I feel like my trim kind of made my hair a little like a tad bit you barely could tell but like a tad bit shorter than what it was last year I do just need a break I definitely miss my wigs too like trying out different colors and just made me feel like a bad so that will be coming back very soon. Obviously the goal is going to be to grow the crap out of my hair. By the way y'all, when it comes to baking, can somebody let me know what's the difference between baking and then like blending it in right away and baking how some people do and they let it sit on their face for a little bit and then brush it off after like 10 minutes. What's the difference? Let me know. Am I baking too soon? Like am I wiping it away too fast? I don't know. I did tell myself that I definitely wanted to make sure that I did like a wellness check with you guys. And let me know what you guys think of this idea because I literally just thought about it the other day because I haven't talked to you guys in a while and y'all are like truly important to me and I want to be able to be more personal with you guys than just like everyday like helpful tip videos or whatever that you guys see from me so my idea was to start doing like a wellness check with you guys through my chit chat get ready with me so if you are open and willing to comment below how are you doing but specifically how are you doing mentally physically emotionally and spiritually I want you to categorize how you're doing and basically like kind of just be vulnerable honest and truthful with yourself as well as us if you are willing to the reason I say this is because that's something that has been instilled in me by my mom since I was pretty much born whenever I ask my friends how they're doing typically I'm asking them in depth how they're doing mentally physically emotionally and spiritually and I expect for them to tell me specifically from each category how they are doing so I'll go ahead and be the example for you guys if you still don't get it but I would like for you guys to comment below how you're doing especially because during this time I know it can be really hard 
hard for a lot of people. Everybody is having different experiences and going through different things due to this pandemic we're all experiencing. So you never know how good it can make you feel just to express yourself and to maybe even have a stranger chime in sometimes on your stuff, whether it be I'm praying for you, I hope you're doing well. Beauty Gang tends to do very well with supporting not only me, but each other, which I love so much. So definitely want to start doing that. Oh, I'm surprised this lash glue's still here. Hold on real quick. All right, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. It's been marinating for a little too long. While my lashes are marinating and stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys, I guess real quick, how I'm doing mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually after I spray on this prep set and glow because my face looks a little dry. I wanted to have a little glisten to it, at least a little something. This stuff smells so good. Oh shit, kinda got in my eye. Oh no, I put on too much. Oh dang. All right, physically, let's start with physically. Physically, I wouldn't say I'm doing the best. Now something that negatively kinda affected me with this pandemic is the fact that I was literally in the gym five times a week. I renewed my LA Fitness membership, purchased a workout plan, and I was like dedicated, specifically because I was supposed to go to Orlando mid March so like a month before when I was supposed to go I started working out because obviously I wanted my body to look good I was in the gym real consistent and then this pandemic hit and then like self quarantine started being a thing and I wasn't able to go anymore it's not like a really big excuse but I'm definitely someone who's way more motivated to work out in the gym I can hop on machines and stuff than at home so that's something that's kind of like frustrating and disappointing about this because I was definitely noticing results from like the three weeks to almost a month that I had been back in the gym. Kind of like I almost feel like I kind of failed myself because it's been like three weeks since we started self-quarantining and have not worked out and I hadn't stuck to the diet that I was doing either. So it's kind of like I have to start all over again. So physically, I'm not doing the best, but I'm not tripping too hard over it because I'm getting back on top of things. Like me and Josh made a whole fitness routine for me to do at home. So if it actually works out in terms of like developing the body shape and just look that I want it for myself I might be willing to share it with you guys but we're not gonna touch on that until we see how these results are but yeah I'm about to start working out again quarantine is not going to be for forever so I definitely want to make sure I'm looking good you know I'm just looking right when the time comes spiritually I do want to actually do better with my spirituality because there was a time that I would wake up every single day before even touching my phone I would pray I don't know when it happened where I kind of lost track of that grabbing my phone is again and one of the first things that I do and I want to kind of get back out of that habit. Nothing's wrong with grabbing your phone and scrolling in the morning when you first wake up but I feel like for me personally and the way I want my life to operate I want to give the glory to God when I first wake up because he didn't have to wake me up you know or my family friends and loved ones and just the crazy time period that we're living in you know prayer is going to get a lot of us through things so I definitely want to get back on that spiritually and I was talking to Josh too about for the longest I've told myself that like on Sunday I know it's not like a huge thing, but to me it's something. On Sundays, like I want to start listening to like gospel music only. Personally, when I was going to church, things that moved me most was actually the music, like the choir more so than the sermons. I don't know why I'm like that. That's just how I am. I love, love, love gospel music. And you can say what you want about Kanye West, but I love his gospel album that he recently put out. Cause it like definitely vibes with this generation while also getting the word across in a way. So I definitely want to start listening to gospel music on Sundays and my mom was actually blasting like virtual web sermon church thing. I guess a lot of churches are doing that via Facebook or just the internet now since you're not supposed to gather in large groups. So I wouldn't be against starting to try to figure out a church I would want to watch online. I just feel like it'll help me to start feeling a lot more like comfortable and confident in my spirituality because I definitely am somebody who believes in God and I want to continue growing my relationship with him. So that's how I'm doing spiritually. Mentally, I feel like mentally I'm doing decent. I just have so much going on. There's kind of like not a day where I'm not doing something, whether it have to be working on a really big project I can't talk to you guys about just yet, or you know, working on actual content YouTube wise for my channel, working on YouTube content for me and Josh's channel, working on Instagram content for my platform, working on Instagram content for me and Josh's platform, working on TikTok content. Like it's just so much. There's never really anything not to do on top of the sponsored content like the brand deals and stuff that 
that I'm getting. I'm appreciative of it all. It's nice to be busy like that, but it can just be overwhelming sometimes. What am I waiting for on my lashes to dry? Eventually, I feel like I'm doing decent because I am trying to start getting back in the rhythm like I did when I first started. Social media was writing out in my calendar at the very last day of the month. So like March 31st, I wrote out what my calendar for April is supposed to look like. Things might change, different things might come up, but I just need some type of like physical organization that I can look at because a lot of times coming up with video ideas, posting three videos a week is not easy at all, especially when you don't have any direction. So I like to write out my video ideas for now my channel and Josh and I's channel and just figure out what I need to do on what day or what business things I need to handle. As long as I stay on that track, I feel like I will be okay in terms of my mental. I also feel like I'm staying very positive through all of this. It's not to say that it's not serious. I definitely know that it is, but I just like to have a very positive and uplifting vibe about myself. So I'm not going to really dwell on the negative and the bad as much as just, no, nope, one day we're going to get out of this. Until then, let's get our hair right. Let's develop some new skills. Let's get our bodies together for that summer goal. Thankfully, nobody in my family has been affected. Well, actually, Josh's family kind of has been, but they're okay, thankfully. So I guess that's why it hasn't like weighed super heavy. It has hit kind of close to home, but they're doing okay. They're recovering. So thank God for that. This is just kind of a crazy time we are living in. All you can kind of do or all you kind of should do is just try to stay positive and uplifting about it and just know that there's brighter days to come. That's the mentality that I try to stay in through all of this. What is on my new shirt? Wow, that's great. Emotionally, I feel like I'm doing decent. Your girl just got off her time of the month, so I'm definitely feeling a little bit better than what I was last week. Whenever I'm on my time of the month, I'm just super emotional, crying, all in a tizzy. So I do feel better emotionally with that. Me and my man are doing good, better than ever. Honestly, I feel like we're in such a peaceful place right now in our relationship and we're just vibing and just on the same frequency, which I really love and appreciate after five years, doggone it, we deserve it. Obviously quarantine allows us to spend a lot more quality time together than we have been able to since he started working and being a manager. So it's nice to just have have him every day kind of to myself along with spending time with my mom us three spending time together like it's just this has been actually really really good for us I hope other people are taking advantage of this time of just spending quality time with family members because me him and my mom actually went on we went on a couple of walks away from other people but just walks just to get outside in the fresh air because it is crazy as it is the pandemic we're going through it is beautiful out here so one time we went on a walk I was kind of telling them it's crazy how although this is a crazy situation we're in right now when else would us three have been able to take a walk like this and just talk for hours that's what I mean by like trying to view the positive in the situation like I can't really think of any other time where me Josh and my mom would have been able to just have a long talk and walk for hours without any time restraint or anybody feeling like they have to go here they gotta go there blah 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 like pandemics definitely put a pause on people's life and I don't think it's a completely negative thing that it did so definitely take advantage of this time with your loved ones whether it be getting to know them better, them getting to know you better. Alrighty, next I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the lips real quick. Something just a little simple. I don't know how I'm feeling about how this is turning out. I don't know how this is turning out on camera. In person, it's interesting. I have not worn or put on foundation in a while, so it's a little, a little different than what I'm used to. Definitely feel like people putting on makeup and stuff is truly a skill because Lord no, this junkie taking me forever coming from a girl who doesn't wear foundation foundation every day. Sometimes I don't put on makeup at all, so this is a lot, okay? This is a lot, and this is Linus eyeshadow. Would have been sitting here for two hours if I did eyeshadow, that's for sure. Definitely need to start looking and studying more makeup videos, though. <gasps> really? Really? Out of all Q-tips, this one happened to have lash glue on it, and it wants to do that. Okay. Okay. Okay, devil. It's funny, so many people be commenting about my uh, lip line and talking about they don't like it, I wish you didn't do this. But it's like, last time I checked, this is my face. I didn't know it affected you in that way. For those who always have something to say about it, it's not changing, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just not. I don't know what you're gonna do about that, but 
that's kind of on you to figure out. I'm not changing how I do my lips. I love it that way. It gives me 90s vibes. I'm a 90s baby and that's just how it is. So take it or leave it. I'm gonna go off camera real quick to take down my hair and then I will be right back. Well, for y'all, it'll be in the next clip. For me, it's gonna take a little minute. So I'll be right back. It's been a good 30, 40 minutes later. That took way longer to take down than I initially thought. Thank God for my man, because I don't know how I would've did that without him. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some highlight and answer some questions before I end this chit chat. You're ready with me, but before I forget what I was talking about before I left, please don't forget if you are open and willing to, to comment below how are you doing? Mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. All four categories. I'd love to hear about that, and please, other beauty game members, don't hesitate to comment if you see somebody that is relatable, or if you can just give words of encouragement, because I think we can all use some right now. But, all right, let me hop into some questions real quick. So, first question that just actually popped up, somebody asked, advice on adulthood. I'm an OG from when you first started. Heart you so much. Love you too. And it's actually funny she asked that because, like, a couple days ago, Josh and I actually posted an eat and chill on our channel, touching on adulthood, being completely raw and transparent about it. I definitely would suggest you going to check out that video after this one if you want some advice, tips, and just the honest truth about what adulting is like post-college. That's what we were kind of touching on. I'm using a different highlight, by the way. I usually use like a gold highlight, but I was sent this in my BoxyCharm box. It's this Too Faced Illuminator slash highlight in Canary Diamond, and it's so beautiful. It's like a pinkish undertone to it. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but this is so pretty in person. Someone asked, would you dye your hair again? You know what? I said that I never would, but now I'm starting to see like a lot of inspo. I saw some people with like blonde tips. I saw other women with like ginger hair, or you can call them a redhead, I guess. I think that's so beautiful. If anything, I feel like I would possibly at some point when my hair gets to the length that I want, if not a little bit longer, I might dye the tips of my hair a certain color, but I don't know if I would ever dye my whole head again from root to end. Someone asked how you overcame insecurities. You know what, personally, I feel like a big thing with me getting over my insecurities was one, growing up. The older and more mature you are and the more people you're like introduced to, I feel like you slowly start to grow out of little insecurities. So let me think, what was something I was really insecure about in high school? I know my little boobs I used to be very insecure about and now they're dang near one of not my favorite things that are on me. I remember kind of being like insecure about not really dressing dressing up like that, knowing how to do makeup, yada, yada, yada. And that's kind of what inspired me to do my YouTube channel in the first place, because I felt like I was kind of abnormal in the girl department. Being an athlete all my life, I never really knew how to do makeup, never really had time to dress up like that, especially because I went to private school, so it was uniform, and then immediately after school, it would be putting on my workout clothes for track or basketball. So I never really got the chance to really get into that until college slash after college. So I think getting over your insecurity comes with growth. The more growth you have, the better outlook on life that you have and you just start to realize and appreciate your own individuality and beauty more the older you get I feel like so some insecurities that you have now at a younger age really won't be anything when you get older you realize that it's really not a big deal and that ties back into what I mentioned about the Savage X Fenty post so many people were like complimenting me on keeping my like tiger marks or stripes whatever people call it in the picture not photoshopping that out but that's not an insecurity mine because it's just a part of being a woman is what makes me uniquely me and you guys see how much love I got for it. So sometimes people's insecurities, I feel like are literally in their head and other people don't even see it or other people actually view it as beautiful. So I would say in some cases, you kind of got to like fake it till you make it or just not even acknowledge what you feel like is an insecurity. And as time goes on and you start more so pointing out the things you love about yourself and find beautiful, the insecurities or things that you don't really care for end up kind of going to the wayside. And then one day you'll wake up like I did and be like, how did I ever think that I wasn't top notch? A1 beautiful AF. Someone asked, do you have any new future projects? Actually, I had a really big one that was supposed to come out in 2020 and I actually mentioned it either late last year or early this year that I had something big coming for Beauty Gang, but there's definitely been a pause put on that considering our situation that our world is going through right now. The Virgo in me is kind of happy about it though because I felt like I was kind of going to be rushing it and this is something that cannot be rushed. Like this is something that is huge that Beauty Gang is going to like lose their mind over it. Oh, someone said, I just want to say on behalf of all beauty game members that you are a light EC. That just warmed 
my heart. You have no idea. Thank you so much for that. Someone said, have you been using foundation in your everyday makeup? Because either way you look good. Fun fact, this is the first time I ever put foundation with it. So no to answer your question. I don't typically wear it with my everyday makeup look that I've developed now. And I don't think I'm gonna start because this was kind of a hassle. Okay. It's cute, it turned out kind of cute, but I don't think it was worth all the hassle that I went through. So I'm gonna kind of keep the foundationless route, I believe, for this makeup look. Someone said, do you have any plans for this summer? Honestly, I pray to God all of this is over by the summertime because Lord knows your girl's gonna be traveling, okay? I'm trying to travel the hell out of this summer because I have now had, what, two, three trips canceled because of this COVID-19. So if anything, that's what I'll be doing this summer. I will definitely be out the house way more. And this is coming from someone who is a homebody. I love being at home y'all but you never know how much you appreciate going out and stuff until you're not able to someone asked what's my favorite quarantine self-care activity honestly getting cute like doing my makeup doing my hair putting on a cute outfit and going to take pictures i don't know if that ties into self-care or not but as of right now that's what my self-care is that makes me feel good so that's probably my favorite activity to do i get this question a lot somebody asked how do you maintain your hairstyles at night when you go to sleep i literally just pineapple them and throw on my big old bonnet that I had on in the beginning of this video. I also, by the way, have a video showing like five different ways, I think, of how you can wear your natural hair at night. So if you haven't seen that video or you didn't even know that I had it, I do. This is what it looks like, just so you know. Someone asked, why do you and Josh not live together? I think we touched on this multiple times on our channel and I put it on my Instagram story, but I know not everybody is on every social network. So let me be clear now that I'm stating it on my YouTube channel. We do not live together because your girl does not have a ring on her finger. We had a discussion about this a couple of times before where we were kind of teeter-tottering on what to do but it ultimately came down to kind of like my comfortability with it and I just tied it into the fact that I don't want to make that type of commitment where I'm going in on rent or mortgage or whatever with someone and I don't have the commitment of a marriage that's just what I want for my future for my path for our relationship so we do spend a lot of time together clearly I'm at his place right now or he's at my place but just something about starting to combine those finances and just committing in that way to someone financially I'm gonna need a deeper commitment than just the boyfriend girlfriend title. That's just how I feel. Oh, this is sweet. Someone asked, How's mom? My mom is doing very well, actually. It took her a little bit of an adjustment period because she was so used to doing something every single day of the week. If it wasn't working out, it was going to her line dancing class. If it wasn't line dancing class, she going out to eat with her friends. If she ain't going out to eat with her friends, she going to some blues lounge, nightclub, or whatever. Like, my mom goes out way more than me. So, a little bit of an adjustment period for her, but she's doing really really well now and we actually celebrated her birthday a couple days ago. It's kind of bummed because I planned on taking her on a birthday trip like I did last year. I took her to Puerto Rico. I already booked everything and then they said you can't go nowhere. So we're gonna have to reschedule that but overall my mom's doing very well. Loving TikTok. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram but I put her on my Instagram live a couple times before and even made some TikToks with her so she's she's doing very well. Thank you for asking. Someone asked you have any other job besides YouTube? Uh, I guess the answer to that would be no but I wouldn't call YouTube my job I would say being a social media influencer is my job because I don't just get paid from YouTube I get paid from sponsorships too so if that's on Instagram or whatever I have multiple streams of income through being a social media influencer so that's my job someone asked why haven't you moved out I actually touched on that in one of me and Josh's recent videos but just so my beauty gang knows moving out has been such a like back and forth thing for me because I told myself in 2020 I was gonna do it but then I thought it would be kind of dumb because one I love saving money and then two I was like well Josh will either be at my place a lot or I'll be at his place a lot we'll be paying for two different like rents spending a hell of money and one of us ain't gonna be in the spot for a long period of time then three I wanted to actually get a condo or just something to own when I moved out of my mom's house but then I was like I don't feel like marriage or whatever is too far down the line for me and Josh so I wouldn't want to like buy a condo that's in my name and then when we get engaged and stuff he moves in and then I have to readjust my life and my space Plus, I think when you get married and stuff, it's important for both parties to have equal say-so in things. So because I believe that step in our relationship is going to be soon for us, I'd rather hold off on making an investment like that and do that together so that we end up getting a place together that we both like and agree on than him like moving into my life and my space. I hope that makes sense. But I did tell him and my mom recently whether we're engaged or not by January 2021, moving out. I just need more space. My room is way too tight. Did it service to me throughout the year? 
years, but I have definitely outgrown my space at home. What is the hardest thing about being an influencer? I think there's two things that come to mind. The hardest thing business-wise of being an influencer is juggling all the business of it. Like I said, if it's not YouTube, then it's Instagram. If it's not Instagram, it's sponsorships. If it's not sponsorships, it might be TikTok or growing another platform or finding management or figuring out taxes. Like there's so much that goes into this. And not only that, just the other department of filming the video, editing the video, scheduling the upload, creating the thumbnail, like a lot goes into this. So that's why it kind of like blows me sometimes when people complain about ads or people just always want to put their input on stuff. That's probably the other thing that's hard about being an influencer. You can't fight all your battles or all the battles that try to come your way. That's probably the two hardest things that come to mind about being an influencer. But there's definitely for me personally, more pros than cons. That doesn't really like weigh on me too heavy or make me feel like, oh, I don't really want to do this. I love being an influencer. I appreciate it. I'm so grateful. I'm so lucky. So I really don't complain about that all that much. Someone asked, why didn't you leave Josh in the beginning with all the rough patches? You know what? I feel like a lot of it came down to the fact that I knew that struggles and issues that we were going through wasn't the big picture of what our relationship could flourish to be. I knew those were literally just what they were, rough patches. And I also knew that his flaws or cons or whatever did not surpass how great of a guy he is and what he brings to the table to this relationship and how he strengthens and grows me as a woman. It's gonna be rough with no matter who I ended up with. It's just a matter of is the person worth those rough patches or no? And for me, thank God, my man was worth it. There was honestly so many questions, you guys. I hate that I wasn't able to really answer all of them. If you guys want me to do like an updated Q&A, just strictly a video like that, give this video a thumbs up and hashtag below Q&A update and I'll bring you guys a better video answering more of your questions. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, please don't hesitate to participate in the wellness check down below and also click on my Savage X Fenty link because your girl is a Savage X Fenty ambassador. And yeah, just thank you guys so, so much for showing love and support in any and everything that I do. You are forever appreciated and I'm forever grateful. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. Beauty Gang is clearly lit. And until next time, guys, bye. Move your body cause you're loving the way that you want Move your body if you're loving the way that you talk One time if you're confident Clap two times cause you're on the way Never gave a damn about what they say Cause you handle all your business on the day by day Head high, chest up, and catch that frame Cause beauty is your name